I can hear you fine, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Well, it was for, okay, yes, it was for Judge Patricia Keller, orders entered from January 1st, 2009 to December 1st. December 31st, 2017, and then for Judges Howard, Jarrah, and Spears for January 1 through December 31st, 2017. So at the time, it was for those current uh, orders because you know, uh, because uh, Judges Howard and Spears didn't take the bench until that year. Well, what happened was this came in March of 2017, and there is a function that happens usually every March. It's called Sunshine Week. It's something that many or media organizations will participate in as a way to promote transparency. It's usually that second or third week of March, uh, which is during James Madison's birthday. And so this was just something, uh, a project I was looking into. Well, via their, yes, their, Mr. Watson responded on March 5th, as my complaint indicates. There's the letter where he, it was his position that uh, these were not public record and that it would warrant an invasion of privacy by making them public record. And was that the only reason that you wanted these, these uh, orders for? Was just to examine them, yes, Your Honor. Yes, can I can hear him, yes, Your Honor. Uh, yes, Your Honor, I did. Uh, certainly I am, you know, of course, like I said, this it, the statute says that these are to be maintained in order books available. Certainly if there is something that is under seal, I would not be entitled to see it. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the state code is very clear that these are to be made public record. 
and th this office has more has had more than ample opportunity uh, to make them available. Now, as far as being paid for any copies, the FOIA statute says clear that the only time that copies would be paid for is upon after the requester has been allowed to see them, and that the fee that is charged must be quote reasonable unquote. Yes. In well, fact, uh, I'll take it under advisement and take a look at it and uh, do a little research and uh, I'll, I'll make a ruling and we'll, we'll go from there. But I just want to get it back on the docket and see, uh, see what it was all about. And, uh, I'll, I'll do something uh, probably in the next couple of weeks, all right? Yes, the only other thing I would say, Your Honor, the, the main issue was the thrust of my complaint was challenging the denial by the defendant on my FOIA request. Of course, I've cited in there what I believe is the statute. The other issue, just for the court's uh, reference, is the failure of the defendant to notify the West Virginia Secretary of State of the FOIA request. That was a uh, new addition to the FOIA in 2015, and it doesn't say whether if it just says they have to do something by the 10th day following their answer request. So just for the court's uh, reference. So those are the two issues at bar in my position that they have failed to provide the records as stipulated by statute and also failed to notify the Secretary of State. Okay, I understand her. Thank you for your time.